What's up guys, it's Jeremy from BSO here for my divisional round picks for the NFL playoffs. I went 4-0 last week, which is awesome, but really, so did everyone else. They weren't that hard to pick. Pretty obvious outcomes, the quarterbacks in each matchup really um, helped me decide the outcome for each game. Um, here up in the divisional round, we have some tough games, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, first up, we have Kansas City at New England. Uh, the Chiefs' defense continued to roll last week, just absolutely dominating the Texans. They um, didn't give really any chance for Brian Hoyer to make a difference in this game. He was under pressure the entire day, uh, obviously turning the ball over a lot. Um, Tom Brady, a more experienced quarterback, obviously, um, but behind a very much so makeshift offensive line. They've had 18 different combinations this year. Um, and that's not going to do against the Chiefs defense, who's been as good as they have. Uh, this game will come down to the health of Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman. Um, obviously, two huge players on that side of the ball for the Patriots. Um, for the Chiefs, Jeremy Macklin, if he's healthy, he will definitely make a difference in this game. But even without him, I think the Chiefs have a good enough team to win this game in Foxborough, pulling up the upsets of upsets. Um, I'm taking the Chiefs. All right, second on Sunday, we have the Packers visiting the Cardinals. Um, injuries to key players like Tyron Matthew, Alex Okafor, and Corey Redding should scare the Cardinals fans. Um, but the passing game for the Packers should not. On the other side of the ball, the Cardinals have had the second highest scoring offense in the NFL this season. Um, and with an offensive line like the Packers have, Aaron Rodgers won't be able to keep up. I take Arizona. Sunday, we start with the Seahawks traveling to Carolina to play the Panthers. Um, Russell Wilson is playing some of his best football right now, but I'm going to pick against him in this game for two reasons. Um, if Teddy Bridgewater can move the ball um, against that defense like he did in crunch time, I can only imagine what Cam Newton will do. Um, and the Seahawks will be so focused on Greg Olson, who just absolutely torched them last time out, um, that it's going to open up plays for other receivers on the field, even if you don't know who those receivers will be. Um, I'm taking the Panthers to win at home. The last lady game for the most potential for disaster, which is fun for us fans. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers at Denver. Um, I don't know who's going to finish the game at quarterback for either of these teams. It could be Landry Jones, it could be Ben Roethlisberger, it could be Peyton Manning, it could be Brock Osweiler. I really don't know. Either way, I think Denver comes out with a victory solely because of two people. Von Miller, DeMarcus Ware, those guys are going to set the tone in the playoffs. Um, Wade Phillips is going to unleash the dogs in that game. I don't care if it's a young Landry Jones and experienced in the playoffs or an injured Ben Roethlisberger. Either way, it doesn't look good. Um, I'm taking Denver. All right, so if everything comes true in my divisional round picks, it would look like uh, Kansas City at Denver for the AFC Championship game. Two division rivals. They probably really don't like each other that much um, and would love to spoil one another season. Um, in the NFC side, the Panthers and the Cardinals would face off in Carolina. Um, on that side, probably two of the best teams in the NFL this season, if not the two best teams in the NFL. Um, could be a great game either way. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but until then, the best way to get a hold of me is at Jeremy Joe Mills on Twitter. Hit me up there. Let me know if you like what I picked, didn't like what I picked, if I picked your team. If not, let me know why I'm wrong, why I'm right, anything like that. Um, but until then, enjoy the, enjoy the playoffs.